Do you hear that noise? Mm -hmm. It's the sound of thousands of cicadas buzzing all at once. One particular species is emerging after being underground for 17 years. Well, tonight that sound is causing some big problems for one North Georgia County. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm explains why 911 operators are seeing a boost in calls. If you've ever spent time in the woods, you've no doubt heard the sound of cicadas. Here in Georgia, we'll start hearing their chorus later this summer. What they're hearing right now in far north Georgia are periodical cicadas. And for some, it sounds, well, alarming. Brood 10 cicadas are not exactly easy on the eyes. They have orange wings, a black body, and bright red eyes. And they make a very distinct sound. Those are the males, and they are calling for the females. That's how they attract the females from mating. On the Union County government's Facebook page, a county worker posted that people are calling 911, mistaking the Brute 10 chorus for house alarms. <laughs> I've never heard it described as sounding like a house alarm, but I can see where that would be mistaken for, <laughs> yes. Dr. Nancy Hinkle is a veterinary entomologist for the University of Georgia. She's done extensive of research on the brood 10 cicadas, which only emerge every 17 years. These are insects that have lived underground, feeding on root sap for 17 years. And then somehow after 17 years, they all know it's time to emerge. They mate, the females lay eggs, and they all die. This phenomenon, the emergence of the brood 10 cicadas, is happening for a few more weeks only in the eastern United States. Here in Georgia, they're only appearing in a handful of northernmost counties. Dr. Hinkle says Memorial Day weekend might be a good time to travel to the North Georgia mountains and stop listen and try to spot some of these harmless non-stinging creatures for yourself let me make the point now periodical cicadas sing during the day so if you hear noises at night it's not periodical cicadas it's probably crickets katydids or frogs rebecca schramm cbs 46 news